How to rank IG stories, grow 100 followers a day with Instagram stories in 2019. What's going on guys, Thor here back with a new video and in this video we're going to be talking about how you can use your Instagram stories to get ranked and by getting ranked grow a lot of more followers. You guys seem to be desperate for new ways to grow your followers and I don't think more of you guys are leveraging the opportunities behind Instagram stories because you can grow a lot of followers with using Instagram stories and that is what we're going to be talking about. Now for those of you guys who don't know who I am, my name is Thor, I'm a 19 year old high school dropout. I run an Instagram growth marketing agency where I help people grow, um, learn and, and do everything related to Instagram, grow their accounts, educate them, coaching, all that good stuff. So yeah, but without further ado, let's just dive into the video. So to get ranked with Instagram stories, what do you have to do? Well, first of all, you have to be using hashtags. Now, the first thing I recommend you guys to do is to use the same best performing hashtag sets that you've been using for your posts. Take your posts, look at what hashtag sets has been giving you the best and most exposure and use these hashtag sets on your Instagram stories. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, if you actually go to your Instagram story uh, and, and you, you put on a bunch of hashtags uh, and it looks ugly, you can just zoom in and put like a sticker on top of it or something and you won't even see the hashtags on the story, but you can still get ranked with that story. Another thing you want to do is you want to look at other people that have already their stories ranked. Look at people, go to hashtags, look at what stories they're posting and look at what other hashtags they are using um, because they are ranked. So some of their hashtags are working, chances are more than one of their hashtags are working. So test with their hashtags as well and see what other hashtags they are using because they're already ranked. Tip number two is to use good content. You have to post quality content on Instagram to get your stories ranked. Now, what I recommend you guys to do, obviously this is a very obvious step, but what I recommend you guys to do is to go to the, again, to the stories that already are ranked and look at what content these people are posting so you know what you're competing with. Obviously you wanna to go to the hashtags in your niche, um, the ones that you'll be using as well and try and rank for. Look at what content is ranking on these, uh, on these um, hashtags in the stories and then you know how quality content you need to post in order to beat them or get better rankings than them. Tip number three is to use location tags. Now location tags again is just another way for you to get exposure. What I found with my personal hashtags is that with, um, with Instagram stories, I mean with locations, with Instagram stories I found that using locations that aren't that big you usually perform better um, because there's much more people using locations on stories compared to their posts. So the, the, the biggest locations are going to be much more crowded and clustered compared to the smaller locations. So my tip to you is to try with both big or small locations, but I found to get more exposure from smaller locations. For example, when I'm in a restaurant or when I'm on, on, on some sort of trip uh, in some specific place, those are the locations that I use. Yo, what's up guys, Thor here. Sorry to jump in on the video, but I've got a quick announcement to make. There's something huge going down, a huge opportunity that I want to give you guys the opportunity to join in on. It launches on the 8th of February, so if you're watching this before the 8th of February, you can still join in. Basically, last time we did this, you guys grew a lot of followers. The feedback that I've been getting has been, uh, been absolutely incredible. Uh, I'm in LA right now. As you can see, it's a very rainy day. It pours down and it's, yeah, really, really cozy. I'm inside here working, uh, but yeah, if you guys want to join in on this you can join in before the 8th of February the link will be down below you do not want to miss out on this opportunity I'm only doing this once so this is the only chance you'll get to join this you guys drew a lot of followers last time we did this as I said the feedback was absolutely incredible so if you want to join in the link is down below tip number four is to get a lot of story interactions the more interactions you get on your story, the better. The more interactions you get, the more Instagram thinks that this is quality content. Now, how can you increase the interactions you get on your stories? It's very easy. You use polls, you use questions, you use the music. You use all these different things that allows your audience to engage with the story. 
You got an example here, for example, you can use the question thing, the question where you basically ask a question and your audience sends this question directly to you. You can use, for example, the, the vote thing where people vote yes or no. You can use, for example, the, the slider thing where you slide the emoji on top. These are things you want to be using, uh, using for your stories because when people use them, it come, pops up as an interaction. And when people interact with the story, Instagram likes that. It means that people like the story. Tip number five is to get a lot of views on your Instagram stories in a short amount of time. Time. Same thing goes with normal content. When you want to get ranked, you want to have a lot of engagement and exposure in a short amount of time. Same thing with stories. The more views you can push to your stories in a shorter amount of time, it's going to increase the rankings. It's going to give you better rankings. So, how can you do this? Well, you can, for example, DM your story. You can, uh, when you posted the story, you can DM it to your, for example, different DM groups or it's specific people and influencers. You can DM that story to them. You can, for example, maybe do a uh, caption in your in your um, bio saying, if you guys like my content on my newsfeed, also make sure to check out my stories because I post a lot of content there to increase the engagement overall on your stories. These are just different ways, but the more views you get on your stories in a short amount of time, it's gonna make your rankings, it's gonna make it easier for you to rank your stories. Sorry to interrupt the video guys, but I quickly just want to announce the giveaway winner of the course of free access to Grand Mastery. So, who is the winner? Give me an awesome drum beat, man. Up. Give me that drum beat. Da, 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 da. And the winner is this guy. Yeah. Awesome stuff, man. Awesome stuff. So, you won. Um, all you have to do is to send me an email to contactactlightbythor.com and with all the information, send me insights to your channel, prove that it, this is actually your channel, screenshot the comment, let me know what this is all about and I'll give you free access. Also, by the way, for those of you guys, this is just a quick mention, but on my website right now, which you'll find the link to down below, I also have listed some Instagram accounts that I'm selling and that some of the people in my team are selling. So if you're looking to buy Instagram accounts safely, um, you can find some Instagram accounts on my website. If you're looking to, for example, buy an account in the travel niche and the food niche and the motivational niche, for example, or the, or the model niche, for example, those are some of the niches we got listed there. So if you would be interested in that, you can just click out the website down below, you'll get in contact with me and we'll sort all of this stuff out but anyways back to the video tip number six is to use story analytics now this is really really important because you want to know what stories on your account is performing and what's not performing um, so you want to be using these story analytics to get this information what you want to be looking at when you go to your story and you swipe up you can see the analytics all the way to the bottom you want to be looking at back forward exits and next story all of these things give you an idea as to if people want to look at the story or not. If you get exits, that's the worst thing, like the worst interaction you can have on your story. If a lot of people exit out of the story after they see the story, Instagram is not going to rank your story because it means that people just go away from stories after looking at your content because it was t so terrible, for example. So exits is not that good. Um, and, and, and back as well, if people go back to another story that usually doesn't have to, uh, anything to do with the story you posted, that's more better for the previous story because they might want to see more of it because it was good or they didn't get the chance to read everything for example but the next story as well and the forward ones these are other ways of people basically skipping past the story um, so but this is information you want to keep in mind and this is things that you want to analyze and look into because I guess the more people that exit out of your story that's a really really bad indicator and the people that also just go forward, skip past the story, this is also something you want to keep in mind. And, and look at your interactions as well. Look at who is actually swiping up on that emoji thing, who's voting on the poll, who's sending you questions. All these things you want to look at, analyze, and that's going to get you, give you a better understanding as to what stories perform and which one doesn't. Tip number seven is to spread the stories throughout the day. Um, you want to be posting multiple stories and I've got one final tip for you guys regarding that but when you post the stories throughout the day if you for example post two stories right off the bat your story is going to be pushed to the forward uh, to the front line in the queue and then if somebody posts a story right after you they're going to be pushed for in front of you again but if you post regularly throughout the day you're always going to be pushed forward in the queue multiple times in the day which is going to give you more overall reach on your stories, more overall views, and every single specific story is going to have more views because more people were now able to see it because people are on the Instagram platform at different times during the day. The final tip number eight is to post 10, 10, 10 stories every single day. If you can post 10 stories every single day, 
you're gonna you, you're gonna grow followers you're gonna grow as much as 100 followers a day if you if you put everything else like all the other things that i mentioned if you got that on point you're gonna grow that many followers every single day because the more stories you post and we guys know this you guys know this you guys know this very well the more you post the better chances of you getting ranked the better chances of you growing more followers all that good stuff the more content most of the time response in better growth better reach better engagement all that stuff so the more stories you can post on a frequent basis the better it is anyways guys that is it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you smash that like button now in one of my previous videos i mentioned that i'm going to be doing an account review i'm going to be reviewing you guys' accounts i'm going to be reviewing a lot more accounts in one video but there was actually very few people who commented their accounts on that video because very few people watched all the way to the end so if you're watching all the way to the end on this video and you want your account reviewed drop it down below drop three fire emojis and your account um you're at and just like a sentence as to what you're struggling with maybe so i have a better insight as to what i should talk about when i'm reviewing your account do that drop that down below and you'll have a chance of getting your account reviewed in one of my next youtube videos smash a like all you have to do is smash a like subscribe tap that notification bell if you don't do that and you drop your account down below i'm not gonna pick you so make sure you do that subscribe do all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video